Hey YouTube, got some new coins here. First one is going to be a Quadrino, or, or Quadrino. Um, this is from Florence, and the front is going to be the Lily of Florence. On the back, it's going to be Saint John the Baptist. And you can tell which year this was minted because that little orb right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Right there, that orb that he's holding. It has a D in the, in, in, the, in the orb, so that is the Munier's symbol. So I can I said this means it was minted from uh, Devon, uh, Don Benzato de Giovanni de Benzati. So, and he was a Munier for the first uh, semester, and this is his third series, so 13, 1373. This one is a uh, Grosso, and it's from the um, city of Milan during the Renaissance era. Got a cross on the front. It's gonna be St. Ambrose and, and with an aerial face. This one is of Martin V. This one's hev heavily clipped, so um, the legend's almost completely gone. Uh, I would, this, he was a pope uh, from, seven, sorry, from 1417 to 1431. And a uh, really interesting pope because he in, um, was the um, pope that uh, that when after his election ended the Great Schism because originally there was three popes like in Avignon, one in Pisa, and then one in Rome, and so um, he he uh, brought um, the authority of the Catholic Church and centered it back in Rome. So on the front is uh, Pope. And throne and holding a cross on the back is the keys of St. Peter and like a little column above. Okay. Um, I got a slightly better Philip Antoninus coin just to update it. It was only ten dollars so I thought I'd, I'd get that. Is a Trajan Decius um, Antoninus coin. Um, I bought it and uh, didn't, and I decided just to get an upgrade because I like this one a lot better. It's got uh, a lot more evenly struck coin. The, it's got a wide flange, so you can actually see the detail. And uh, it's almost, I think it might also be in almost uncirculated condition, not mint state, but um, it des definitely has all the lettering and all the carving relief. Um, from the uh, dies, so that was a really nice coin. All right, this one is of this is in ten ninus. This is a million. Million was a was the emperor during the third century crisis. He only reigned for about three months, so his coins are actually quite rare. Uh, not extremely rare, but they are rare nonetheless. All right, back is going to be victory. And uh, I also do have some banknotes as well. The first one is going to be um, a uh, banknote from uh, Austria. This is eighteen. Uh, this is from the eighteen hundred, um, and it's from the Venus Daden Bank, and uh, so or the Banco. Um, it wasn't written an official Austrian currency, but it was an Austrian bank that issued these banknotes. So it's nice to have a really early issue of, of European of European banknotes. I thought this one was pretty. Uh, it has the Habsburg, Habsburg Eagle, a couple things. This is one Gildan. Um, it does have some watermarks, but it's kind of hard to see. This thing is kind of beat up a little bit. So, and the other one is a uh, Pennsylvania uh, uh, currency um, from uh, for twenty shillings, which is the equivalent of a British pound. Um, this one is in a lot better condition than my other old ones so um, obviously it does have some pinholes in it I'm assuming to keep it together um, and so it's actually split down the middle it's two separate pieces but I put them together uh, I didn't really want to tape them together so I just put uh, a double-sided tape on the sides of the sleeve so it just wouldn't move around um, it's from seven, 1758 or 20 shillings this was a banknote issued for um, the uh, French and Indian War, so it's from Pennsylvania. And on the back, um, 
as originally I think it was gonna it was a leaf it might have been fern or something um, this is printed by um, Ben Franklin's pinning press and also um, David Hall so 1758 I thought it was just really neat to update it so all right thank you for watching like comment and subscribe I'll see you next time thanks for watching